Okay, so we are in the second series of the Kiriaku versus Watkin videos and we went onto the internet and asked you lot what you wanted Kiriaku versus <laughs> dun, 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 Watkin to talk about. And this story, this question is from Tom in Oxfordshire. That's his real name, isn't it? Yes, it okay, is. Yes. So what did Tom ask? Tom asked, <clears throat> what marketing tools generate the most leads, i.e. canvassing, right move upgrades, uh, online presence, etc. What creates the best impact? Impact, is that, is that the word he used? That's the word used. Okay. Um, I, I, I'm gonna make an assumption here and, and say, you know, that that probably means in terms of brand awareness and creating leads. Okay. Um, and are we talking buyer and landlord leads? Is, is Tom an estate agent or a letting agent? That's an estate agent. Okay, so we're looking for some seller leads, what, free vowels or? Well, I would say, Chris, for the purposes of the, these discussions, is that really we, we're, we're focusing on vendor and landlord yes. leads. Um, okay. Buyer leads are, you know, okay. I don't think many people are suffering with those at the moment. I'm sure there are a few, okay. but, but, but not many. Um, so it, it, let's talk about generating vendor leads. Okay. So he's got some options there. Let's go. Through, let's rattle through the options he said. So canvassing first of all, does it work? Okay. So are, are we talking knocking on doors? Or are we putting letters through letterboxes? Mm. I think when uh, my, me personally, when yeah. people talk about canvassing, the first thing I think of are letters and leaflets. Yeah. I think door knocking is an add-on part, but but yeah, most people have got the balls to do it because they're afraid of the word no. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, they are. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, people fear rejection, so they don't yeah, want yeah. it. I've had a few people tell especially me it's unethical or whatever. Especially a state agent, especially valuers. And I'm not being critical because I'm a, I, yeah. I'm I'm an ex valuer. Yeah. We we hate rejection. That's why <laughs> that's why it it hurts so much to lose a valuation compared to getting it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's the rejection of they won't we then it's yeah. And also just you know what what you know, that that fear of what you're going to say when the door opens. Yeah, I know. Or, or what they're going to say. Okay. Well, tell you what, let's put that to the side because yeah. we don't want to scare them. Yeah, no, of course. Okay, so, so we've got letters through the door. Mm -hmm. See, the good thing about letters through the door is you, you, you can't ignore them. Well, you can ignore them, but, but at least you know damn well they're going to pick it up. Yeah, you'd be surprised. I mean, people do pick up letters and have a quick read. But Letter or leaflet? I think they're different. They are different, I think aren't people they? like to class them in the, as the same thing and, and tie them with the same brush, so to speak. Um, but they, they're different, they're used for different purposes and have very different uh, uh, responses. Because if it's a leaflet, it's going with the kebab leaflets. It could be. And you and I, you know, be. you've been our separate correspondent, you love. Okay, yeah, I love the kebabs. Yeah, yeah. that's what you say. Okay. Um, but, but, but let's go back a step for a sec. Cool. Leaflets. You say they end up with the kebabs, blah, blah, blah. But it depends what's on the message. But it depends. You know, if I want to drive people to my website, for example, or my landing page, or get them to go to a landing page to claim a free guide. I'm going to do that in a leaflet. That's giving, though, isn't it? That's giving, yeah. Do you think most estate agents' leaflets have that message on? No. What do you think? Why? What's the message? Hi, we're brilliant. Our Willie's this big. Um, is this? It's either that or something really vague. I got one recently through the door, which was oh, I saw know, that really one. vague. It was um, like, like a lifestyle photo. Yeah, life, lifestyle photo of a little girl and a teddy bear, and like, let us find your happy or something like that, your happy home. Um, with the logo and it. it literally meant nothing and on the back was a calendar and I was like well what's the point it's not like I'm going to keep this calendar on an A5 leaflet stuck on my fridge for the rest of the year well, I've got my phone my phone for that yeah exactly exactly so uh, yeah, the, 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 I mean, that leaflet was literally designed prior to phones coming out it's as simple as that it's yeah because estate agents haven't moved on have they a lot of them haven't I don't want to say estate agents but I'd say some some yeah. I think you know what it is Chris it's not it's just lazy marketing it's just lazy. People think, well, it's better to do something and send out this leaflet with a with a candle on the back yes. than do nothing. Yes. And I make you right to a degree, but well, you just take the time. Well, throw enough just stuff. Just take the, the time, yeah, and do something properly. Right. So, so instead of doing the lifestyle stuff and the message, what hmm. should they be doing then? Uh, like I said uh, in, in, earlier on, try and generate a micro step. Okay. So try and get them to rather than get them to call you or email you, which is effort. Yeah, and also they might try and sell me something. Yeah, and they might try and I don't really want, I've got time for that. It's Actually, I might, yeah, but also, you know what, they might even want to speak to you. But they don't want to speak to you right now the second they pick the leaflet up. So they say, okay, I'll speak to them later. By the time later comes, 
Joe Bloggs' estate agents down the road's already spoken to them. But you're not going to keep a lease. Yeah, and it's too late. So let's get them to take a micro step. Let's get them to visit your web page, or even better still, a landing page. Um, a landing page with the top five tips of selling your house in Grantham. Great town, mate. Right? But hold on a second. What you're, what you're saying there is, is instead of, because most leaflets is what can we sell you, what can we get yeah. from you, Yeah. what you're suggesting is what can we give you. Yeah. Give, 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 not yeah, take, yeah, take, take. Yeah, yeah. give, is give. That, is, that, is that what you're trying to say? Um, it's, yeah. If There's got to be something in it. Yeah, we, we can help you, but, but, but not, you know, we, we offer this service, we offer that service. A good way to, to identify if that client is actually interested in, in, in the price of their property is to offer them something which, which talks about that, right? So if you sent them a leaflet that said, um, find out how much your house is worth, yes. and sent them to an online valuation tool, mm -hmm. that shows you that this person who lives in your area is interested in the value of their home. They go to your valuation tool, they either put their details in and you get the lead. But most don't. Or they don't, which I was about to say, and you track them via Facebook, Facebook yeah. and Google and serve them branded adverts until that time that they do. Yeah. I think that's where a lot of the Val Pals, that's nothing against Val Pal because I love them to bits, yeah. but a lot of the uh, AVM models, automated valuation yeah. models do, is, is that it's not necessarily the bit of kit itself that produces the valuation, mm. it's, the, it's the lead up process to yeah. it and the post yeah. process. You know, yeah, definitely. You've got to drive people to it. D definitely. And then you've got to take them on a journey definitely. afterwards. I, I've said this before in a previous video. I've said it on numerous blog posts. Val Powell, whatever other AMVM you want to talk about, Robo Val, which is my yeah. one, um, is only part of the system. Okay. Without the rest of the bits, yep. it's useless. So I'll clarify this now once and for all. If you put one of these AVMs on your website, and you're spending the money Val, on your Val, 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 uh, Smart the Val, ones, all of it. Everything Val. Any Val, Val, Val that you're paying for, okay, to sit on your website is complete and utter rubbish. Waste of time, don't bother, unless you're driving traffic to it. Bang on. Done. Okay? Then, even if you're driving traffic to it, you should have a good follow-up system in place, email nurture, whatever. Make sure you give them a call, obviously, and then into your email nurture system. Interesting you talked about putting a uh, tracking them because if seven out of ten don't put their details in, you can put a little cookie on their yep. computer yep. which then allow follows them around That's right. the internet. You know, when you've been on uh, you know, when my missus gone to Amazon and she wants to buy something and yeah. then all of a sudden I go on to LinkedIn and there's And there's a advert for light bulbs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly the same thing. Exactly. So what we want to do there is um <clears throat> uh, offer them one lead magnet, right, which is the the um, AVM. Yeah. You, this is another way of doing it. You could offer them the AVM. They don't go for it, right? So now you serve them adverts on Facebook and, and wherever about another lead magnet, a free guide. Yeah. But none of this, uh, we're, we're the best estate agent no, in no, Lancaster. No, no, we're you, the best, you, we're you, the boys. No, no, no. You're right. We've sold do... this. We're, we're the boys. No, no. no. Well, look, okay. there's a time and a place for that. But the initial response, not, to, to start off the relationship that way is probably wrong. Well, let's be honest, it's like going to a party and someone talks about themselves. Yeah. Okay, let's come back to letters. Energy. Yeah. Let's come back to that. What do you think should be in a letter? A letter. And then Tom, Tom's got to ask other things. We need yeah, to yeah, mail yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think for me, and we, you know, as you know, we, we sell letters at Key Analytics. And, and you give them away for free. And we give them away for free, yes. Some of them, not all of them. Okay. Um, but, but for me, they're good icebreakers. Especially if you are in the habit of door knocking, a letter prior to that door knock is great. It's an icebreaker. Did you get my letter? It gives you a reason to start a conversation. Yes. Um, they're also good for uh, key stages, okay? So key stages in someone's marketing. If they've been on the market a while, you might want to send them a letter that reflects that they've been on the market a while. A slow mover letter, we call it. Or if they've just reduced their price. Oh, I've noticed you reduced your price. Mm -hmm. Have, did your agent speak to you about this? Mm -hmm. oh, that sparks a little thought in the head. No, actually, they didn't. Okay, well, would you like to talk to me about it? Yeah. Okay. It's the drip, drip, drip. What else did Tom ask for as well, in terms of in terms of other ideas? And let's have a look. Uh, right move upgrades. Ooh. Well, we've talked about that in a different video, um, and we have differing opinions on this one. Go on, then. Right move upgrades. So we're talking. <laughs> Featured agent, homepage banners, yeah. featured this, featured yeah. that, local homepage. Yeah. yeah, you had a favourite from last time, what was it? Featured agent. Fe 
featured agent. Love it, love it, mm. love it. Mm. But not the high real estate agent can use as click here for a free valuation. Mm. It's click here to find out what's happening in the Grantham property market. Yeah. Complete waste of time if you ask me. It, it, mate, they, How much does it cost? It depends, it depends on the normal searches, but all I know is this, the average number of clicks that one of those featured agent banners gets nationally is 25 a month. And as soon as you put a banner on that says, do you want to know what's happening in your local property market? At least 200. 200 clicks? Yes. Okay, you can get that in a day okay. on Facebook. At least you know damn well that the people are interested. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But go on then, I'm interested, talk to me. I want to look, teach yeah, me. How much does that cost? Anywhere between 150 and 250 pound a month. So you're talking about 25, you're talking about two pound 50 a click. Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Can I work that out? Mm. Or one pound fifty a click. Yes, but at least they're looking. At least no. you know they're looking. One pound fifty a click. Go on. Right. So, you know, talking about in in terms of Facebook, a good, a well optimized campaign with a targeted audience should be getting anywhere from twenty to fifty to six, 70 pence a click max, half the price, half the price, and you could target your audience. You know, it's not chance. You're targeting your audience and you're placing that advert in their in their feed. Look, I I don't disagree with you on Facebook. I think it's really brilliant. I, through my experience mm. and the fact that I advocate estate agents to talk about the local property market, in most circumstances, not in all, and there's a certain nuances depending on the town, they do work because they're high quality. Let's go. Let's we'll just have to agree to disagree. No, on no, no. I'm going to quash this. No. You will agree by the end of this. No, I agree with you. That, that your Facebook advertising works and also right move works. Why spend two hundred and fifty pounds because on a right move banner? Because are you judging it on the on the quantity of clicks or the quality? And it's both. It's that quality versus quality. Yes, but once they click on that, what happens? It takes them through to a blog about the local town, okay. and and then you put the the cookie. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then then the um, and the, then what? The, and then. When they go back on the Facebook, whenever a new one oh, so back on Facebook. Yeah. So why not just keep them on Facebook? Well, it's a means to it's a it's a new funnel to bring them to Facebook. Yeah. Okay. So I do agree. Right. With, uh, this is another point. I've been speaking to a lot of agents recently. Hold on a second. Yeah. But then you actually said earlier on the leaflet feeds them through to Facebook. Yes. So, so really, it doesn't. Let's be honest. Each per, each agent in each town is different, and certain towns work better, especially with these right move banners. Yeah. Some towns. They just die a death, and some is like beat them off with with sticks. Surely it's a as, as to what Tom said. Surely it's a case of test and measure. Oh yeah, definitely. Test and measure. Test, see what test works. Measure scale. Yeah, but well, it's not a but. The funnel, which we love to talk about. Yeah. Most of it is going to feed through Facebook and and social media. I agree with you on that one. We we'll just have to ask each other where people spend most time. I don't see it. Is it on, is it on like, Rightmove or is it on Facebook? Uh, Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. Right. Boom. <laughs> 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 yeah, but if I can get, use yeah. Rightmove, okay, look, if we get Rightmove, if we can use Rightmove to get into the Facebook. All right. If someone said to you, Chris, I've got two billboards. We agree. One is on road A oh, and one is on road B. On road A, a hundred people a day goes past that billboard. Yes. And on road B, and some of them are sellers. A hundred people a day go past that Facebook that, that billboard, and some of them are sellers. Because let's be honest, if you're on right move, you've probably got your house for sale. Right. Hang on. Hang on with me here. Come on, man. Two roads. I'm prepared to listen. A and B. B road. They both have the same billboard on. Yes. Road A has a hundred people a day go past it where some of them are sellers. Yes. Road B has two people a day that goes past of it, but both of them are sellers. Both billboards cost the same price. I'm assuming that billboard B is right move and billboard A is Facebook. Which one do you put your money in? Honestly? <laughs> Um, if I could only spend my money on one, yeah. it would be Facebook. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, on, on targeted banners and things yeah, like yeah. that. If I had enough budget, it would be both. Yeah. Depending on the time. There, there's, there's, an, so, there's another part of this argument, Chris. Come on, then. And I've seen it a lot lately. People 
myself included, and I've had to go through this learning process, forget that once somebody is on a platform, they generally want to stay on that platform. Yeah, okay. and, and the platform wants also for you to you stay, stay there. On it. So if I'm right move, if I'm on right move looking at houses, yes, I generally want to continue looking at houses, which is why I don't click on the banners, yeah, because that will take me away from what I'm currently doing. It's a distraction. If I'm on Facebook, it's the same thing. I want to stay on Facebook. That's why now lead magnets that go from Facebook onto a landing page convert far less than lead magnets that let's say maybe open messenger and deliver the content within the messenger channel instead. Ah, so that's very new. I've seen people building bots lately where, you know, they say subscribe to the bot that you join and then they take your links out of Facebook okay, so to their website. Right, just, I know what a bot is. You know yeah, what a bot is. Some people don't know what, what a bot the is. What right? Well, let's just talk about Messenger for a sec. Okay, okay, what's a bot? A bot is a chat bot. You know, a programmed response is okay. automatic. Okay, so what's a chat box? A chat you, box. Ju you just used words. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You're right. Your lips you're move, right. but I can't hear what right. you're saying. New, new, new channel. New channel. Okay. Oh, yeah, they don't even, most don't even do the old channels. Today. Yeah. <laughs> so come on. Have we moved on too quickly? <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> right, so, new channel uh, to deliver content. Messenger, okay, Facebook Messenger. Yeah, what's the chat box? Come on. Okay, so when people interact with that or, or try to send you a message via that Messenger channel, you'll have an automated response. Okay, okay. so it's, is it just you, whatever you? Is it just one response? So someone might come in. It's, it's whatever you program. So hold on a second. You could have you could have a response that if someone types this in, it says this, and if someone yeah. says, and then what? Then it can have even like a yeah, like a, 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 a Venn diagram, a, whatever it's called, a, 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 or just a conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, for example, old way of doing things still works, still works very well. But as we know, email open rates are dying a death. Oh. Um, right. So let, let's let's talk about this, the old way of doing things. Because that's why GDPR doesn't worry me too much. God, that's oh, a story. No, yeah, like, let's not go there for a sec. In fact, let's just not go there. Okay. Um, uh, um, what I was going to say is, so the old way is we have an advert on Facebook, for example, and we say to to, to somebody, get our three tips for getting the best price. Yep. Click here, they click there. Oh, missed that one there, Chris. Mm -hmm. Click there, and they go to your website, where you then ask them for their email address in exchange for the guide. Yes. Okay. Now, what we know from doing that is- Would you put a, a cookie on there? Just yeah, in case cookie, there. let's clarify. Cookie goes everywhere. Good. Right. So, they, they put their email address in. You can help agents with that though, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Put them in and you send them the guide, okay? okay. That, that was the way of doing things. Problem with that is, a lot of people get to the page, not put their email address in, yep. put a fake email address in, yeah. um, or put the right email address in, and you send them the guide, and then they just never open any other emails. Yes. Okay, so the, the hit rate's not great. You know, we're talking open rates of just over 20%, click-through rates of, well, minimal, okay? okay? I haven't got the stats in front of me. Um, whereas, with this new channel, with Messenger, they click the advert, rather than you taking them outside of Facebook right. to your landing, but you keep them in Facebook, mm -hmm. they click the advert, it opens the messenger, messenger window, your chat window. You might say something like, thank you for requesting my guide, put your email address in below and I'll send it to you. So they haven't left Facebook. Okay, they're okay. still in Facebook, they're now part of your messenger channel okay, and so your if, email what, list. So what if I don't put an email address in there? Will it just keep asking? You can you can set the bot up to say, look, you didn't put your email address in. Do you still want this guide? Okay. Yeah. Or or, or not. This depends how you set it up. But if they don't put it in, they're still part of your your messenger channel. Which means now you can send them a message. You can send them a message. Yeah. As long as it's not promotional. Okay. If it's a, if it's a script, well, they've got to. Res the, the trick with Facebook is they must respond at least once. Okay. So that's why it's good to have a button or something in the first. In the first interaction, yes. Um, so in that's another top tip. Yeah, yeah. So in our messenger bot, for example, it will say thank you for requesting the download. Click here to get your download. So they click the button and then it asks for the email address. And because they've made a positive because action, because they've taken action, they are now in the messenger list. Okay. Okay. So for example, to give you to give you a, 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 a measurable idea of this, right? Before our meeting today, I asked 900 people yep. via email to send me one question, okay, that they'd like to ask us today. 
Okay. Nine hundred. Uh-huh. How many did you get back? So out of nine hundred people, I had three responses. Not bad. Well, I, 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 I think that's pretty poor. I mean, okay. that's not bad. What did you get through right. Facebook? So from Messenger, I sent out the same message. Yes. Okay. Via my Messenger channel. Yeah. To a segment of my Messenger channel. Roughly how many? Two hundred and eighty people. Two hundred and eighty. So probably one or two. Okay. How many? Why don't we count them? Go for it. Yeah. Okay. We do some t- twinkly music now. We won't be long because it'll only be a couple. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's priming you, isn't he? Yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, let me just open up. Sorry, this is really off the cuff. So let me just open up okay. my, um, my page okay. manager. It's just opening now. Okay. Okay. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, like 13, 14, 15, 16, ah, 17, ah, 18, 19, 20. Ah, ah, it's the Sesame Street. Do you remember the count? I'm the count and I like the count. One, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, <laughs> so there's 20. 20. 20 responses from, from 280. 200. That's like a 3 or 4% return. That is a... No. No, no. That's just under 10%. Yeah, it's never very good. No, it's, let's say 9% for argument's sake. We haven't got our calculators out, right? But let's say 9% as opposed to a sort of half percent. That's amazing. Let's get back to Tom's question because we don't want to bore these people right. to death. Anyway, so th- th- this is turning out to be a long video, right? Let's hope people are still with us. Uh, let's hope so. Right, so... Well, you're good looks, look charm of mine, witty, <laughs> witty repartee, they should right. be. Right, let's talk about Tom. So that, that, I think that was it from Tom. He wanted so to what's, about the be- what's the best? Well, I don't think there is a best. Um, it all works. You've got to be holistic, but I think you've got to seriously consider using Facebook and social media because this is where everyone's eyeballs are. Yeah. But it isn't a case of just doing Facebook and chucking your listings out. And it certainly isn't a case of, hi, we've got the biggest estate agent and the biggest willies. It's actually a mindset of actually giving stuff away to get something back in return and then you can follow them. And, I, think, yeah. I, I think this is what we need to do is... Figure out what the end goal is, okay? And yep. that is evaluation of problem face to face. Work out backwards how are you going to get the person from point A or point zero, okay? Yeah, to you, okay? With the with the channels, okay, so which with what? the traffic channels okay. that you have at your disposal. So it comes back down to it is a case of just doing something. It's about planning it and uh, plan it out. Right, I've got this channel, Facebook. I've got leaflets. I've got organic search. I've got pay per click ads on Google. Right. I'm going to use those to avenues to get them to this point. From there, I'm going to take them here, there, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Uh, but before you do that, you need to, well, I mean, I don't know if you want to do this on another video, but, but, but create a customer avatar. Have you heard of a customer avatar? No, go on. Right. Should we do that now? Well, if, they, if they're still with, if, <laughs> if they're still here now, we might Right, have customer avatar. First thing you should do when deciding on your digital marketing strategy is to build your customer avatar. And the customer avatar is your ideal client, okay? Okay. Who they are. Because that sounded like a film to me. Who they, yeah. Who they are, male, female, how old they are, um, what drink they drink, you know, what magazines they look at, what Facebook groups they're in, um, what they search for on Google, okay. all that sort of stuff, just write it all down, and that will help you to target your, your target audience, okay? To, to put yourself in their mindset, and then put yourself in those places where they're where, where, you know, where they're going to be um, and, and you use those attributes to help you target them on on facebook interesting anyway i think we might have nailed that one nailed that so one. really can we agree that probably social media if done correctly is is where you should be yeah. putting your, is where yeah. you should be in terms of investing my my advertising cash yes probably there but doing it right because you consume waste money don't you Doing it right, yeah. You, no, you can waste thousands. Good sir. Um, I think, I th- I think I, what I'd say to Tom is this, is don't just look at this video in isolation. Look at all the videos that we've produced to get an, an idea of what we mean by doing social media right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wouldn't yeah. that be fair? Yeah. Let's leave it to that. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Cheers.